All right, so in this problem, we are building a parabolic satellite dish, and ultimately we want to find the surface area of the dish. It says that we're going to rotate a parabola about the y-axis. Therefore, I have written down the formula for the surface area of rotation of a volume that we got by rotating around the y-axis. Our function, again, was given to us in terms of x, so this formula makes sense. However, the first thing we need to really do is find this value of a in the function. Now, if we draw a picture of this function, we should be able to do this. y equals ax squared, regardless of what a is, is going to look something like that. So we have what kind of looks like a satellite dish, and the problem says that the diameter of this dish is going to be 16 feet, and the depth of this dish is going to be 2 feet. So it's not too hard to figure out that based on those dimensions that are given, right here on this function, y equals ax squared, we have a point 82. What that means is we can plug in 2 for y, and 8 for x, and we can solve for a. You'll notice that 2 equals 64a, or a equals 1 over 32. So what that does is it gives us the actual value of the function that we're going to rotate about the y-axis to find the surface area. That function is going to be 1 over 32 x squared. To find the surface area, we're going to need to take a derivative of that, and we're going to take that 1 16th x, we're going to plug it in right there for dy dx, and we're going to get ourselves an integral. Now the question is, what are the limits on x? In other words, what are the x values on this function that we actually have to rotate about the y-axis in order to give us this big parabolic dish? And the answer is, if we just rotate this part of the function right here, just from x equals 0 to x equals 8, if we rotate that about the y-axis, that's going to give us the entire parabolic satellite dish. So we only need to integrate between 0 and 8. Okay, now that we have the integral set up, let's do a little bit of simplification and let's see if we can finish. All right, I brought the 2 pi out of the integral. I squared 1 16th x squared, and you'll notice that this integral can be completed with a u substitution. du is going to give us 1 over 128x dx, or in other words, x dx is 128 du. So we can replace x dx with 128 du. We can then pull that 128 out of the integral and rewrite the square root of u as u to the 1 half. And let's talk about our limits of integration. Our lower limit on x was x equals 0. Plugging that into our substitution formula here would give us u equals 1. Plugging x equals 8 into that u substitution formula is actually going to give us 1 plus 1 fourth, which is 5 fourths. Okay, so our limits of integration on u are going to go from a lower limit of 1 to an upper limit of 5 fourths. Let's now integrate and finish this problem up. Heading 1 to the power of 1 half gives us 3 halves. Dividing by that 3 halves gives us 2 thirds. Multiplying that by 256 gives us 512 over 3 pi. And then plugging in our upper and lower limits of integration gives us this number right here, which is the surface area of that parabolic satellite dish that would be measured in feet squared. All right, now I hope that helps you out. I'll zoom out so you can see the whole problem. As always, feel free to go back and watch this thing again. Hit pause whenever you need to. But I hope this video helps you out, and I hope to see you next time.